It's been another high-octane, action-packed week of Karen activity, reaching an all-time high. If you're checking with the meteorologist, you'll know that there's at least been a 90% chance of a downpour of Karens on any given day this last week, so it's been pretty wild. Pandora's box has been fully opened, and now we're left with the wrath and the chaos of the Karens. I can't help but draw similarities between what's happening right now and what happened in my favorite movie, 1999's The Mummy, when Brendan Fraser and the crew accidentally revive a mummy, and then uh, as a result of this there were plagues that were put upon the world. I feel like something might have happened in this day and age where someone opened a sarcophagus and the only plague that came with that was these Karens. We'll go ahead and start with the most popular Karen sighting this week. This one's actually pretty special and pretty scientifically important, I'd argue. This isn't just some generic Karen, this is actually the guardian spirit of blueberries Karen. She comes out when she feels blueberries are being threatened, and it's someone we've read about in fairy tales, but until now we've never had video evidence that this Karen even exists. This is like finding a video of Bigfoot. Pay taxes, I pay for this park, you and I don't like park. to see people wrecking it. We're, we're not, not, we're not wrecking, wrecking it. it! There's oh literally so many berries everywhere. Oh my god, we're not wrecking it! Oh, there's so many berries out here! There's so many berries! <laughs> I cannot! <laughs> you ever get so mad at someone that you just bust a fucking move? This Karen got so upset that she just couldn't help but hit the electric slide part 2 right then and there. I've said it before and it's absolutely true, Karens are just like children with temper tantrums and shit like that. Basically a Karen is the result of a toddler being freaky Friday'd into the body of a miserable middle school English teacher. We're twits. You're the one coming up to two young girls, getting young mad girls. at them for yeah, picking you're like <laughs> six years old. Six years old. Because we wanted to eat some berries. I'm saying, eat all the berries you want. Just don't take the bush with you. I'm it's sorry, not the bush. It's, it's literally a. It's a tiny personally. branch of berries. Why She's like King Ramses from that Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. Return the slab. Return the berries, or suffer my curse. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to see her break out those moves again where she's flailing her arms around acting like she's swatting away invisible bees that are swarming her. Why don't you mind your own business? Why this don't you mind your own insanity. business? You know, that is the fucking rudest thing you've said to me. You decided go to come up to us. Go back where you came from if you wanted to use language oh, like that. Oh, why don't you go back to where you came from, you fucking colonizer? I like how that's where the line in the sand was. You've gone too far telling me to mind my own business. Are you kidding me? Mind my own business? Do you know who I am? I can't mind my own business because I'm fucking miserable and I need to get mad at every opportunity possible so I can yell at some kids so I can boogie down with my fucking noodle arms and I need to get mad. Mind my own business. Now I've gone way too fucking far and now I'm fucking upset. Imagine thinking it's rude when someone tells you, hey, just mind your own shit. Honestly, the rational response to that should be like, you know what? That's a really good point. This isn't affecting me personally. Why did I interject myself into this? I'm getting the fuck out. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? I'm actually curious. Where the U.S. U.S.? Oh, yeah. So oh, you're not, so even you're from not here. Canadian either. Yeah, I am. Mm. Oh, so, but we are Canadian too. I was born here. I was born here too. Okay. Were you born here? No. Okay, oh. so this is actually like I was born here and you're not even born like here and you're telling me to go back matter. to you're wherever. To your back grandparents back. weren't either, that's the thing. Oh Were your God. grandparents no, no, born no, no, here? No. no. Like, yeah, that angle didn't pan out too well for you there, did it? Not only did they get to eat those berries, but they got to slap you down right there on your own fucking stupid argument. So I was, I was a bit rough for you. Is that what you want? I'm just telling you to get a basketball. I don't have a mask. I don't have a mask. This is fucking I'm spreading more dirt, staying in here, for God's sakes. Yeah, this seems about par for the course. This looks about right for your average Miller Lite consumer here. I imagine there hasn't been a single case of Miller Lite that's been sold that hasn't had this kind of negative interaction with a customer. Buying a case of Miller Lite just says to your friends and family, Hey, I make bad choices. Obviously, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I've made it very clear in the past. Miller Lite is my least favorite beer. It just tastes like somebody plugged a catheter into my high school bully and is just milking the piss out of them and feeding it to me. It just tastes like I'm drinking hateful piss. I'm not paying for fucking bass! I'm not paying for it! It's literally like you're getting fucking sick. Like, it's literally like you're getting sick. There's almost nothing more frustrating than listening to these stupid fucking troglodytes think that they're right when they're just outright wrong and refusing to accept that they're wrong. 
It is a business. A business can put whatever policies they want and refuse service to people that don't abide by those policies. That is their right. But then you have these fucking dumb homunculus walk around, my rights, my rights, my rights. I can jerk off in the store if I wanted to. It's my penis. God gave me this penis. You're not the boss of my penis. I could beat my fucking meat right here with no mask on and you can't stop me. It's so fucking silly that no one seems to understand that a business can enforce whatever the fuck it wants to on the people that choose to shop there. It's it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. And I don't understand this huge hoobla about masks in the first place. Why don't you get upset about the fact that businesses require you to wear clothes to shop there? It takes a lot more effort to put on a shirt and pants than it does to put on a mask. Why don't you get upset about that? They're taking control of your body, saying what you need to wear to come into their business. That's infringing on your so-called rights that you're arguing about. Why is it only the mask you take an issue with? The mask is a lot less effort than putting on clothes in the morning. Why don't you just try and shop around naked and see how that pans out? We don't have to do this. It says on the paper right here it's going to be mask. Karen going with the classics here by spitting on the man, which is a crime. So now the only rights that you're entitled to, Karen, are your Miranda rights. That's assault. And during a pandemic, it's more than assault. You're just a giant piece of shit. They're playing. That's what the park is for. I never saw a car in here before. It's a, it's a power wheel car, bother man. Me. What bothers me is you have a little kid in here that doesn't have a driver's license. He's just a little kid and you're not with him. It's not a real car. <laughs> This one's almost just a wholesome Karen encounter. She smells some people were having fun at the park, so she goes out of her way to just put the kibosh on that shit and shut it down. And then she takes notice, wait a minute, those are little kids in a in a truck? Is that is that a truck in the park? Hey, what the fuck is this? These are some unlicensed kids in a fucking cyber truck. Are you kidding me? You're a terrible parent. Where are their license? I'm gonna have them thrown in the slammer for this. This is a crime. This is a fucking crime. In my peaceful park, are you out of your fucking mind? Don't talk to me. Did I invite you into my conversation? Did I invite you into my conversation? Did I invite you into my conversation? Do you have any right to be speaking to me right now? Are you involved in this situation? Are you involved in it? I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. And don't talk to me. Do not talk to me. Take your bullshit mask off and act like a real person. And do it. You are not the boss of me. Oh yeah, she did it. She just dropped the you're not the boss of me line. Every single Karen freakout is more and more evidence that as Karens age, they become more and more like children. It's like some Benjamin Button shit. I was half expecting this woman to throw a chocolate bar on the ground and start crying about how unfair the other lady was being. Didn't you Don't say you were in a hurry? You either. Don't. You guys can all fucking wait. Don't talk to me. Waiting. We are waiting with patience and kindness. No, you're all fucking That's talking fine. to me when I told you not to. This is probably the most conversation this lady's gotten in the last 30 years. Her children grew up and started to ignore her. She doesn't get to see her grandchildren very often. They ignore her phone calls. And now, finally, some people are talking to her and she just doesn't even know how to respond. So she's just lashing out at everyone here because she just doesn't know how to converse with anyone anymore. She's out of practice and she's just kind of a big asshole. I don't care! Oh, I do say that was a bit too far. Wow. I always like when a, a Karen says, what are you going to do about it? And then get like fucking shocked when someone actually does something like slap her. We've seen like a thousand of those by now. But unfortunately, in this case, the woman wasn't feeling like slapping her. Probably wouldn't even be worth like the extra effort to walk up there and then just take one on her cheek. But I, I always find that to be pretty remarkable because they're constantly egging it on and then play the victim when something does happen. And I have no doubt in my mind if that lady did swing on her, this one that's making the big huff and puff would have totally abandoned all sense of toughness and just start crying about how she's the victim and calling the police about what just happened. That's assault! No, it's not. If you spit on her, that is assault! Not on her! She's touching me. Yes, it is. You spit on her! No. There's nothing more cowardly than spitting on somebody, and it's very common right now with Karens. That's really their go-to signature move. 
their anime finisher is just the old loogie that they pop at someone that they're having a disagreement with. But yeah, these were the biggest Karen clips of this week and uh, another great week of Karen activity for sure. And I don't think there's any signs of the Karens starting to slow down or become self-aware. For as long as Facebook exists, these Karens will exist. And uh, that's about it. So yeah.